Hey, good evening, comrade subscribers. Thanks to, um, thank you all for hanging around. I do, do appreciate you putting up with my videos. Um, obviously not every video is for everyone, so I do appreciate those who stick around for better times <laughs> when I do, when I do um, make a video uh, that you're interested in. Um, anyway, I thought I'd have a look at the Icarus again, the Icar. Um, so as, apologies, I'm going to, I will get it right in the video description. So please, please, please always read the video description. I always do the video. I go in blind, so usually you see the machine at the same time that I see the machine. Um, and then when it's uploading and when it's processing, because that takes quite a few hours at 4K, um, I will then do some research and you know update the video description. So in this case, I, I do remember someone in the comments said, ah, it's a ROM issue. Um, so I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I will check it out and I will give them credit. Because obviously um, that's one of the most important things is getting credit from <laughs> from me. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so you can see I've got no ROMs, and we get the same pattern. Uh, having said that, you know I have tried putting in a a, a Russian or a Soviet test ROM, yeah, it was a Soviet test ROM uh, that tests the memory, um, and I do get garbage on the screen. So I don't even get the kind of the test routine. It gets garbage. So there may still be a, uh, an issue with, with one of the DRAMs. But interesting thing is I have... Um, so I have... We can probably go from... Yeah. So yeah, I've, I've tried it with these. So actually, I'll put one of them in. So I have... I've dumped both of these. So these are both 16... I think they're 16K uh, ROMs. And um, they do, well, as far as I can tell, that looks like a standard standard uh, Spectrum ROM. Although I think, um, was it this one? Oh, no, it's the Master. I think the Master is the Scalica one. Anyway, so it does look like a, maybe a standard Spectrum ROM. Um, you know, that was, I didn't do a byte-for-byte -byte comparison. But interestingly, so we've got 29 and we've got 30. So I think actually 30 is the low... 16k and 29 is the high 16k so it was 29 and 30 anyway so i'll show you the effect when i put in one of these um test roms so i've got one um that was from soviet times a radio amateur magazine or something and i've got an updated one um from zxbyte.ru uh, so I'm, so I'm, I'm a bit confused because I say the ROMs, the ROMs look okay. There, there is data on there. They aren't blank. I was able to dump them. So I'm wondering maybe the sockets maybe are a bit on the flaky side. So maybe I should uh, put in new sockets. Um, having said that, I've had very little success kind of desoldering these sort of boards without any conformal coating on them. Uh, but I will try very carefully and try and put in new sockets and see if that see if that helps. Anyway, so that's what we're getting at the moment, which is spot on, no ROMs. So actually, let me power this off. I'll put the ROMs back in. God, I love these. These are beautiful, <laughs> absolutely beautiful. Love them. Anyway, so they go in pretty pretty easily. Um, they are in there pretty well. Um, one confusing thing, actually, also, is the ROM sockets have got the pin 1 at this end, whereas the pin 1 for the ROMs was actually up this end. So I have confirmed it by checking, uh, what was it, pin... I can't remember, whatever. How many pins are these? 28? Pin 14 and pin 28, so ground and plus 5 volts. So this orientation is correct. So the sockets are actually wrong. The sockets have been actually been put in wrong, the wrong, wrong way around. So anyway, so sockets are in. Power back on. And yeah, we get the same effect, as if the ROMs aren't even in there. So that's interesting. Um... So if I 
pull them out. Again, so I think 30 is the low ROM based on the dump. Maybe I should put it around this way. Then. I don't know which way around they're supposed to go. Let's try it like that. See what what's the worst that can happen. There's, there's, there's no ROMs there. All right. Okay. So let's try one of these test ROMs. Um, so I'll try it in the U30 socket. And we get garbage. No response from the keyboard. Okay, so I'll try again. Move it to the U29 socket. So this is what I mean. Maybe, or maybe the maybe those ROMs aren't working properly. Maybe I just need to re you know reburn them. But having said that, that you know the diagnostic ROM isn't even working. So DRAM issue. I have tried the simple, which has never worked for me, of sitting. Well, it would be nice if I actually knew that the DRAM was working, but sitting a, a supposedly working DRAM on top of each one. And that's made no no difference either. So, so probably the sockets are okay then. And I don't know why these I don't know why these aren't working. So let's just put these aside. So I might reburn them then. Um, yeah. So that's where I'm at. So that's what I've been doing. Send a long iced nice tea. Yes. All right. I'll do some more research. Okay. So. Um, I had a look at the... So these are 16K ROMs, which makes them 27128 all right 27128 so riddle me this batman reel me this comrade subscribers so i had a quick look underneath nobody can walk quietly so we've got these three pins here and you can see a bit of solder on this track here as well and these three pins here are all bridged. So if we assume, so that's pin one. No, no, that's pin, okay, that's pin 28. So that's pin 14, which is ground. Pin 28 is VCC. Well, it looks like ground plane on this, doesn't it? This is what I'm confused by. Well, the sockets are in the round the wrong way. But in any case, all right, so say, say the sockets are in the wrong way round. Say the sockets are in the wrong way around, so they should be up here. So pin one's up here. So pin one is programmed so that we can ignore that VPP. So pin 14, so this should be ground. And this should be VCC, which is actually, I think, what I've already checked, already confirmed that, haven't I? Um, no. Is that ground? Is that ground? Sorry, let me zoom out. Just bear with me because maybe I found the problem. And I can't remember which 
one is which on this one? Let's put let's put let's power it on again. Let's go back to DC voltage. Okay, that's minus five volts. That's plus five volts or plus four point nine. Okay, that's good enough. So it was that way around. Okay, it's that way around. Okay, so go back to continuity. So that's ground. <laughs> All right, there's about 100 ohms of resistance between that and... So this looks like 5 volt rail. This coming up is ground. What? Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, mm? Yeah, All right, hang on. Stand. I know, you're probably yelling at the screen. <laughs> that's plus 5 volts. So that's... So this should be five volt rail. That should be five volts, and that's ground. Yep, plus five volts. So that means so that's ground. Okay, so the so the so uh, the sockets are the right way. Uh, I thought I'd check this, and the sockets were the wrong way round. So the sockets are the right way round. Which means that the chips are in the wrong way around. So these are the chips, and this is how they were inserted. If you don't believe me, <laughs> they were inserted this way around. So we've got pin one up here, haven't we? Even though the writing's upside down. So I assume that's pin one up the top there. And having said that. Ground. Anyway, so the chips were inserted that way round. So does that mean they should go in that one? But I've tried that way round as well. I oh know, I'm sorry, I'm a bit slow. All right, let's try it the other way round again. Because continuity, continuity, so that's five volts. That means that's VCC, that means that's pin 28. And that's pin 14, which is ground. Which means this is pin one, which matches the orientation of the socket. So the ICs are in the wrong way around when it arrived. But that's not the only weird thing. Let me just put the ICs in the other way around. Power off, plug her in. Plug the 5 volts in. And what are we going to get? Let's plug that in. So we get a different issue, <laughs> different different vertical bars. All right. So again, okay, if we say that this is the low ROM, that's the high ROM, maybe the ROMs are in the wrong way around. But that's not the only, that's not actually what I was looking, looking at. So I don't know which way around they go. Around, around, around they go. Oh. It's a me. It works now. So the ROMs are in the. <laughs> they're in. The, oh, hey. It's a me. God damn it. I try. I am pretty sure I tried this. <sighs> okay. What was the issue? We had 
ROM 29 in here, we had ROM 30 in here, and the ROMs were in the wrong way around. Pin 1 is down here, which actually matches the, the um, socket. I checked this. I had already checked, I already clocked this the other day. And I thought I'd checked it, but obviously I've, yeah. So, she's a working. I'm very happy. So, yes, it was completely a ROM issue. And, um, yes, yeah, so I, I can't remember who, who, who said that in the comments. I will look it up and I will um, say thank you to you in the, in the video description. So, no, I appreciate that because that's what I've been concentrating on is this ROM issue. And then, obviously, I've put in a test ROM and I'm getting garbage on the screen. That's because the ROMs are in the wrong way around. Ah, fun draw. All right, so let's power off. Low ROM, high ROM. All right, 30 is the low ROM. So if we stick in the test ROM, and plug it in. That looks healthy. <laughs> maybe I got the wrong one. <laughs> maybe. Oh, I'm getting confused. I just know. How did I have it? 3029, yeah? Or well, maybe it does this. I can't remember. I can't remember how it was supposed to work. Let's try. Let's try the Soviet test ROM from Radio Amateur Magazine. Let's put it in the other. I'm really happy with that. Okay, yep, so no ROM. So that is the high ROM. That is the high ROM. So you're supposed to get text, so maybe maybe there's some incompatible maybe there's some kind of incompatibility with this design. Because well, you saw it wasn't. It was working perfectly well with the which way around did I have it now? Put these back in. I still I might I don't know, I don't want Ah We got some garbage now. Mm, I might have been lucky. So there's still there might be a might be a DRAM issue, or I'm not waiting long enough. I'm powering it on too quickly, and there's still junk in the in the memory. Power off. Well, I'm happy. That's a good way to end up for Sunday. All right, so maybe, all right, maybe there is some DRAM issue now as well. Okay, or maybe I had, have I got the ROMs in the right way? Just, no? Oh. Now, nah, I'm gonna see, uh, it's a bit flaky, but it is working. Uh, cap shift, symbol shift. Um, no, delete, no, cap shift, no, oh yeah, no, symbol shift, there we go. Uh, okay, and what happens when I press reset? All right, so it might be... Oh, okay, there's actually two reset buttons. Okay, so, all right. All right, so it looks like press both reset buttons. You can see it. The reset there. Sorry, let me zoom out. Reset there and a reset there. 
and it resets the machine. All right, so problem solved. Because <laughs> I was going to say, because there's one strange thing I thought. Um, let's power this off. Okay, one strange thing I thought is... Yeah, it was these three up here. So that's 28, 27, and 26. So 813. So 813 is being held high on this room. So that's VCC. That's programming. And this is A13. So why is A13 being held high? Unless we only want the high part of each 16K ROM. So we've got a low... Mm, okay, maybe... maybe. How big is the Spectrum ROM? I don't know. I thought it was 32K. Oh my, or was it 16K? And it's, these are two 8Ks. So we've actually got two ROMs. We've got the ICAR 64 ROM and we have the normal Spectrum ROM in the lower half, perhaps, with A13 not held high. Oh, I don't know. Sorry, I'm not, so I'm not a Spectrum person. Anyway, uh, hopefully that was of some interest. So it is working. Um, next step will be to load some software. Um, so this is, as I say, a bit flaky, so maybe there is some other, maybe there's a DRAM issue or something, or maybe it just doesn't like being power cycled quickly, but, um, yeah, there we go. Thanks for, uh, thanks for stick, sticking around, and I'll probably talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye for now.